Hey guys, today I want to show you uh, how to build a cheap bungee launcher under 30 bucks. So stay tuned. First, uh, what you need is a lot of stuff from the hardware store. Uh, and what I bought it was under 30 bucks, so 20 bucks for uh, total in the, in stuff. And I will explain later. Uh, and the bungee cord from Hobby King that was eight euros, I believe, uh, without the shipping. So you end up a little bit over thirty bucks, but hey, who cares? Now, um, what you get is a couple of drain pipes from uh, the hardware store. These ones, they're I believe thirty-two millimeter, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what you do is just drill holes in the end, get some uh, threaded metal rods and some nut screws that you uh, push through the hole and then uh, put nuts on each end tighten them so uh, there's no slack in them uh, maybe use some Loctite to keep them uh, to keep them really uh, really 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 strong on there and uh, that should work fine what you do is you take it up and you stick it in the ground uh, if you make two of these you just can put them at any uh, distance from each other depending on the size of your plane if you have bigger planes you just put them further apart so then uh, what you do is get these uh, piece of wood attach a, a fence lock for it uh, which you uh, which you attach a rope to and then you can uh, put the rope into the slot that normally fits the lock and that's a nice bolt mechanism pull the rope and it opens and then uh, you're off and flying. Take the bungee cord, add two rings to the end of it, and then you uh, just attach two ropes. One of them goes to your plane and the other goes to the lock mechanism. Uh, first you make uh, one uh, short wire. The short wire has uh, a loop at the end which you attach to your plane. In my case I designed a special uh, system for the Skywalker. But I'll show you later on. Uh, the other end is a longer rope uh, with a small ring that goes into the lock mechanism, um, which I will demonstrate. Put it in there, close the lock, and then you're good to go. What you do is you leave the rope a little bit longer so you can uh, adjust it and also add a screw, and this screw just is a real nice safety mechanism. You push it through that hole and it's safe, can't open, so you don't have your plane flying off when you don't want to. Uh, the screw you just remove just before flight and then uh, you pull it and it flies off. The bungee cord, of course, uh, I doubled it, put a ring on it, and that ring you attach to uh, a hook in the ground. This is a hook I picked up from a camping store. It's usually uh, used for tents, but it has a nice uh, feature. It screws into the ground, which uh, anchors it really well because yeah, if, if you have a bit of soft ground and this thing comes out of the ground when you have tensioned your bungee launcher, you can imagine what happens. It flies either into your plane or maybe even into your face. So uh, I don't want that happening. So this is a good mechanism to keep it there. No, you just attach the hook and there you go so that's about it uh, I'll set it up outside in the garden and I'll be right back so I can demonstrate you how this works this is the, the hook that I designed for my Skywalker I'll put a link in the description for people's, people with a 3D printer they can uh, download and print that out it's just a simple hook but uh, it just attaches to this uh, latch over here if you don't have it, you can just use a, a, a loop like this, put a little wooden plate in your plane, which you can put a screw into, and you can just attach this loop to the screw, and it'll work just as well. I did this on my Bixler, and it works. So, uh, But this is handy for the, for the Skywalker. It's, it's made for the hook that I designed, so uh, that works as well. Yeah, I'll set the thing up in the garden, and I'll be right back with you to show you how it works. Okay, now I have it all set up. Uh, drain pipes are pretty far apart, so they can uh, hold the Skywalker nicely. 
uh, set it up with uh, only a meter of bungee cord attached so it won't go flying off through the yard. See the top wire goes to the plane so there's no tension on the plane itself and the bottom wire goes to the locking mechanism to the fence, uh, fence latch. And there we have it attached to the hook to the bottom of the Skywalker and the other end goes all the way back to the lock mechanism. You can adjust this if you have a, a smaller plane that's further back then you can just make this uh, a shorter length. And, uh, I'll remove the, the safety, uh, so the screw, hold down on the latch so it won't accidentally launch because it's pretty, yeah, it's a little flimsy but it works so see, it just stays there. Now all I have to do is push down the rope that I attach to the latch system. So there we go. And it's off. See? Works perfectly. It's a good system. I uh, tried it uh, twice, once with the Skywalker, once with the Bixler. And the Bixler launch went perfect, Skywalker launch also went perfect, but the flight itself didn't go that well, but you'll see in a later video. But um, yeah, after this I will show you the footage of uh, the two launches. This is the screw that I was talking about, and it's, uh, yeah, it's firmly into the ground. It's impossible to pull out by hand, so you have to really unscrew it to get it done. But uh, I'll show you the footage after this in the two flights. So uh, for now, thanks for watching.